Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I'm going to take a walk today out in the garden and see what's going on. Been really busy the last uh, couple days um, trying to get things ready because uh, the snow has melted, the temperatures are starting to go up, and so um, there's been a lot that we've had to do as far as start uh, cleaning up the yard as much as we can. Um, still things are frozen to the ground. It's not completely thawed out yet. Um, but uh, trying to get things ready, get wood moved, get some more cut because we're getting low on our wood um, with the extreme temperatures we've had this year. So trying to get some of that yard work done. I figured I'd bring you out here to the garden to show you what we're doing out here. And uh, just give you a general idea of what's going on right now. So I'm going to turn you around and I will show you what the garden's looking like at the moment. All right, so this is our garden right now, as is. See, it's kind of barren looking and we've got a lot of these jugs out here. Um, I just added some more totes today. If you've been keeping up with my videos, uh, you know that I have uh, around 250 jugs give or take a few and then I started adding these totes here for the business there's a hen doing her job that's just awesome um, but anyways I uh, just added these totes over here um, just a few minutes ago so um, got a lot going on uh, we remeasured the garden because I noticed a discrepancy between my planogram in my actual uh, dimensions of my garden that I have written down. So we remeasured it because I do square foot gardening and it's very important to know exactly how many square feet you have to work with and so you can plan. So yeah, that's what's going on here. None of these jugs have sprouted yet. It's still been too cold. Um, zone 5B, I don't expect these to sprout for another week or two. Um, if they sprout sometime this week, that's great. If not, no big deal. Um, so, and then another thing that's been going on here at the homestead is this pen here. Um, we rehomed our ducks. We no longer have the ducks that were um, in here. And so, uh, my husband has been working on tearing down the dividing wall that went between the chicken run and the duck run. And uh, the chickens have a much larger area um, to uh, work with. So that's a work in progress. Still got a lot to do. He's actually got to empty out this uh, makeshift pond, take out the blue liner, and then fill it back in with dirt uh, since we don't need it anymore. And it's a stagnant mess. It's just a mess. So that's what's going on there. So our hands are out free ranging. They've been doing it for the last uh, week now that the weather's been warmer and no snow. They've been really itching at getting at those bugs and uh, everything. And that's been good for our area um, because we need them to eat the grubs. we got lots of grubs in here. I've actually started tripping over moles or gopher tunnels. They've gotten really bad this year already and it's only the first week of spring. So, um, yeah, so one of the plans for the garden is uh, we're going to be really marking the bed. Um, the, these hoops here basically mark the, the ditch that my potatoes grow in. We're going to actually be marking that a lot better and putting some fencing over it so the chickens don't get in there and dig in there. Um, and then we're working on this area over here. This is going to be where... Um, I'm going to have my raspberry patch. I'm going to be growing raspberries this year um, right here in this spot. So that'll be new. And then uh, the old dog run will be um, where I am growing uh, tomatoes and beans and my lettuces and things like that. And uh, just a lot of different things going on. These guys are our new addition to our flock this year. We try to get new birds every year to freshen our flock. Um, but we lost a couple birds within the last couple days. Um, 
just from a predator or something. Um, we're not sure exactly what. Uh, so these guys will um, help bring our numbers back up too. Um, we have some Brahmas in here. They're a little bit older. Uh, we bought them this way from the store. They're probably, I would say, almost three weeks old, judging by the, the feathering on the wings there. And then we also have the younger ones. We have some Aracanas and some Barred Rocks down there. And they're just all happy, happy. So uh, the brooder box is made from a repurposed refrigerator lying on its back, so to speak. And uh, the freezer part, we have their feet in. So it helps a lot because it keeps these guys insulated from the cold temperatures. And then, of course, they have the heat lamp um, right now that they can get under if need be. Especially the younger ones because they're only a few days old. And uh, so that will stay in there for a little while until the temperatures warm up a little bit more. And then we'll take the heat lamp out and just have like a night light in here at night. Um, that way it's not completely dark in here. So, back to the garden we go. So, there you have it. That's what my garden looks like right now. Um, got a lot to do. Got all these jugs back here that we're watching and seeing when they're going to sprout. Got the chickens out here. Um, getting some fertilizer and eating some of those bugs, especially the grubs. And uh, we're just getting things prepped and planned and cleaned up and ready to go. Um, that way in the next month or so we can start planting our cold weather crops and making sure our beds are well marked with boundaries. So I'll keep you guys updated. But thank you so much for watching our journey. Have a great day everybody. Bye!